Uh, I know I made like a video last week, um, and I just really wanted to make a video again. Um, you know, we go through really good times, and we have really bad times for our symptoms flare, and I don't know, right now we're not sure if my symptoms are flaring, or, you know, right now we're kind of concerned I have other issues going on, um, but like, this past week has been very scary for me, um, very scary indeed they are not sure what has been going on with me so I really wanted to make a video and kind of like share what's what happened to me this week um so like as many of you know I have been passing out for like four years now since 2009 and um you know for me it's not abnormal and I have a warning most times, um, but this week was very different for me, um, extremely, extremely different, and, um, on Tuesday, they found me outside of the hospital on the ground, like, on the cement ground in one of the parking lots, um, it's like the on-call hospitalist or doctor position parking lots unconscious um I was barely breathing um my heart rate was extremely low um they ended up calling a code blue um as many of you know that is a code as in CPR and all that like if you're in a hospital they bring the crash cards and they usually administer C administer CPR um and um I found most of this out after the fact um so yeah I had no idea how I got there um I remember waking up and I went to move and they would not allow me to move <laughs> um somebody was holding my head um and I had no idea where I was and I remember somebody saying that her heart rate's really low still and um somebody started saying my name like over and over again and I was like, you know, yeah, yeah, what? And they were like, well, you know, wh what were you doing here? Because they were trying to, you know, figure out, like, what, why was I there? It wasn't a day I would have normally been there. Um, I wasn't on the schedule f for the hospital or anything else. So they were trying to figure out if I was there for an appointment um, for a doctor's office. And I was like, I, I wasn't coming here why am I here? And the only reason I knew I was at the hospital was because I was like, why am I at the hospital? Um, because I remember the person was saying my name was the person holding my head and I was like, Patty? And she said, Jess. And, um, somebody said, Jessica. And I was like, what? They're like, do not scare, do not scare me like this again. And I was like, why am I at the hospital? Why why am I where am where am I? Why am I at the hospital? And they were like, Why were you here? And I was like, Well, why am I here? Like I I don't understand. Um I had, like I said, I was very confused. I had no idea why I was there. I remember leaving my house. <laughs> um and that's it. And as many of y'all I don't know how many know, I do not drive. <laughs> Um, and I live two miles from the hospital. Um, I take the buses, or usually around town, or I walk. Um, and I did not walk that day. Um, I remember getting on the bus. I was going to the opposite side of town than where the hospital is. So I don't have a clue how I got there. Um, long story short for that, um, they ended up taking me to the emergency room and checking me out. Um, and keeping me there for several, several hours. Um, and they never figured it out. Never. Um, 
They gave me a bunch of IV fluids um, and sent me home. My blood pressure was still extremely low and they sent me home. Um, I don't know why. I was slurring my words. Um, I was making no sense. I called my mom when I left and I terrified her because um, I was making no sense to anybody. Um, I was making no sense to me. I was confused even in the emergency room. I, I knew where I was. But it did not feel like I like I was convinced I was not where I was. I did not understand. Um, so I had I came home and I laid in bed, and I because it was really late that night. And the next morning I called a cardiologist and I was like I need to see the doctor because um, it terrified me. I had no idea what was going on. The doctors had no idea what was going on. Um, they didn't even want me to talk to the doctors here. They wanted me to go straight off the mountain. Um, oh, I'm already six minutes ago. I make this fast. Um, so, um, call the doctor up here because it happened up here. Um, I wanted to make the appointment. They asked what was going on. I said I was found unconscious outside the hospital. And they were like, oh my god, that was you. Yeah, we'll get you in here. Um, so I couldn't get in with the doctor. So they stuck me with the nurse practitioner. So I went to see her. And I'm in the office with her, and I start having a similar episode. Um, and they really have no idea what, what, what happened is I, I start going unconscious. Um, and the next thing I know is they're, like, sending me to the ER. Because um, she comes back in the room. Like, I don't, like, I kind of remember her leaving. She comes back in, she goes, you're going to the emergency room now. And so they take me to the ER. And when I get there, like, my blood pressure is very, very low. Um, so, like, they have me laying in a bed. My heart, my blood pressure is only, like, 61 over 30 laying in a bed. Um, and they wouldn't let me sit up because every time I sat up, I passed out. Um... It was just bad. Um, the ER doctor had like come in the room and she looked at me and she was like, you? <laughs> like I said, you look really familiar. <laughs> and she had been the doctor who, res one of the doctors who responded when they called the code blue on me. <laughs> two days before, <laughs> or not even two days before. Well, yeah, cause that was Thursday and I, they called the code on me Tuesday. So, like, she had been the one who accepted me from the cardiology office. And she came in and she said, you know, if we were going to give you a couple bags of fluid, she said, you're not dehydrated. Because they had already given me several bags a couple days before. You know, they did blood work and I was fine. Um, you know, I got three liters of fluid. My blood pressure still couldn't, they couldn't get it up. Um, my heart rate was low. Um, you know, they have no idea what's going on and they're convinced that this is not necessarily an autonomic problem at this moment. Um, and it's more of a cardiac problem. So they admitted me to the hospital, um, to see if they could potentially, you know, do, you know, watch it overnight, see if it resolved itself, um, they pumped me full of so many fluids, it wasn't even funny. Um, I got, uh, I can't remember, but I was getting a liter of fluids every two hours. The whole time I was there, and I was there, like, a full day. Um, after I left the ER. And, you know, they're not sure, and so, like, the doctor that admitted me that night was just there to admit me right of orders and then the next morning the doctor came in to see how I was doing and he fully believes that this is a cardiac problem and not a nervous system problem. Um, the fact that I'm having these episodes where I can't remember things and I'm not having warnings. Um, and these are episodes like I don't, usually I have warnings. And Tuesday scared the mess out of me. I'm not gonna lie, guys. 
Um, I, you know, especially since I usually remember things very well prior to fainting. Sometimes I wake up confused um, until I get reoriented, but, you know, that's kind of normal. Um, I'm still trying to piece things together. I am still figuring out, like, slowly, um, who responded to that, like, who was working, um, nurse-wise, doctor-wise, um, and trying to figure out what all happened. Um, next week I'm gonna go and get all the notes to take to the cardiologist off the mountain, um, so he knows he can get input um, from that, but like I am still trying to figure this out and the doctors are completely puzzled and I know I terrified them, I terrified the staff at the hospital um, and they all know me and the fact that you know they come out and it was me, um, luckily it was a visitor that had seen me collapse um, that went and alerted somebody because otherwise I could have probably been there for quite a while um, before somebody would have noticed. I would have probably woken up before somebody found me. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, we all have our ups and downs and I apparently was having a very good several years I haven't been in the hospital for a couple years and you know minus a few ER visits but like now apparently I'm really having trouble keeping my blood pressure up very badly I've been visiting the 50s and 60s with this you know for my top number with my blood pressure a lot um it's not lower apparently and it's, it's getting very scary. Um, my heart is apparently not pumping very well. Um, so, yeah. I will try to make more videos. Definitely the more I find out. Um, or, I guess, the more... If I have more episodes that, you know, I'm, I want to try to keep the, you know, vlogs... So I know what's going on, too. Um, keep better track of it. So... I hope everyone is doing alright and I will talk to y'all later.